Hello guys, nice to see you again. Thank you for tuning in. Today it's uh, 40 degrees in the shade uh, and uh, almost no wind, <laughs> which is uh, quite unpleasant. Um, I can't go to the archaeological dig today because um, it's a quite a long drive and later on this day I have an appointment. So I will give uh, this field here a try. It's, it's a stubbled field as you can see. so not the best of conditions here as well but um, I will see what uh, pop up. I have detected this um, field in the past and um, yeah it was not that productive but I simply haven't got another place to go at the moment so I will give it a try. Yeah keep your fingers crossed and uh, I'll be back when I got my first find. Yeah, the day starts with a World War II find. Yeah, it's uh, a badge from World War II, and uh, here you can see the German eagle, and down here should be the swastika. Yeah, on the back side, yeah, you can see that the pin is snapped. Yeah, it's a quite common find on my field. I found uh, three or four on this field already. Um, these batches are made out of zinc. That's why they are in such a bad state. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, I had to give you a live dig on this one here. Yeah, it's a bit deeper. But it was, was also on the loose topsoil. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a ring. Look at this beauty. It's a bronze ring. Certainly not uh, to be worn on a finger. It's uh, too big for it, but uh, it has something to do with uh, maybe horse harnesses or something like that. Can't tell you anything about the age of it but it got a beautiful patina, yeah, nice find. Wow, <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. Uh, yeah, it's a Roman coin, as you can see. On this side you got the emperor's head and on the other side um, yeah I can imagine that it, it is a Constantinian coin Gloria Exercitus I would say but I'm not sure it's quite grotty but uh, yeah this find uh, gives me hope
Yeah, my next find is a lead back seal with a lot of clear and crisp writing. Um, can tell you anything about the meaning of these letters, but on the back side you have uh, Hanau. And I know that uh, some of my American viewers uh, served the US Army and uh, some of them were even based in Germany and uh, you guys definitely should uh, uh, heard the name Hanau, the, the town Hanau, because there was a huge uh, American facility um, on Lamboy Street. Yeah, it's uh, like 30 kilometers away from here. And I can imagine that this uh, back seal has something to do uh, with fertilizers. What a pity, it's a fragment of a thimble and look how thick it was, quite solid one, it's a shame. I think uh, it could be quite old as well because uh, of the thickness, yeah, maybe we talking about ancient here, uh, but I'm not sure, you, it's hard to tell with these symbols. Take a look at my next find here. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there could be two possibilities. Either it's not very long on the field and it's custom jewelry made out of a not so valuable material, or it might be, yeah, maybe a white gold or silver, I don't know. It's in a good condition. Um, let's see if I can reveal some details with my toothbrush. Uh, I thought so. As you can see, it's very ornate. Beautiful. Hopefully it will turn out uh, to be gold. <laughs> This has to be one of the tiniest buckles I've ever found. And it looks very old. I would say it's uh, high medieval times. Something like that. Maybe older, I don't know. But uh, got a nice patina and it's uh, yeah, quite uh, primitive in design. So that lets me think that it could be very old. Always a nice find. These uh, late 1800s, early 1900s Fenix from the German imperial time. Beautiful coins. Not far away from the first panic I found, here's the next one. Made an interesting find here. It's only a fragment, um, but as you can see, it uh, got um, a cross shape. Um, of course, it, it's broken, but uh, 
I, I don't know if it's just imagination, but I, I think I can see Jesus uh, on this side here, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's uh, imagination. But uh, I would say it is a small uh, cross. I had uh, two identical short signals here in close uh, proximity to another and I took the first one and it is a Roman minimum. So I'm hoping now that the next signal will be a Roman minimum as well. Let me put this here. don't know. It looks like a coin fragment. Uh, could very well be Roman, but uh, I'm not too sure with this one. But uh, this one definitely is a Roman minimum here. But as you can see, uh, the other coin-like piece um, yeah, could be something else but I don't know my guess is uh, that it is a Roman coin as well absolutely don't know what this could be here hmm. it's a fragment of something but I think it is too accurately designed to be something old. Look at the hole, how accurately it is drilled. I'm not sure, but it looks definitely interesting. Found a beautiful buckle here. Look at the design of it. Um, beautiful. I think I found a similar one before. Got a nice signal here. Let's try to find out what it is together. Ah, I can see it already. It's a lead back seal. And okay, it's a Hebrew one. Yeah, let me show you. And uh, one moment, I got another one here. Of course, I found one earlier. Yeah, they seem to be quite common on uh, all my fields here in the surrounding. And here are the other bits and bobs I found today. A few buttons, harmonica reed. I find these fragments here very interesting. They look ancient. Uh, haven't got a clue what they could be. Um, maybe I will find out. I will definitely present them my archaeologist. Yeah, that's uh, the other things I found today.
Today I found um, a big buckle, a small buckle, quite old I would say, uh, a bronze ring, a World War II badge, uh, three lead back seals, two of which are uh, Hebrew or um, Jewish with Hebrew writing. We have two Fennish uh, from uh, the Imperial German time, a thimble fragment, uh, a piece of jewelry, uh, unknown object here. I think this has to be a cross. I can recognize Jesus on it, I think. And uh, three Roman minims. It was very exhausting to dig all this trash uh, on this hot day here. I'm calling it a day, guys. No water left. Uh, I'm melting in the sun here. <coughs> I have to go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it might be quite short, I think. I uh, don't know yet. But uh, yeah, please stay tuned and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for that. See you next time. Bye bye, au revoir, and auf Wiedersehen.